Welcome to my video where I'm reacting to the news that Thomas Christensen has been appointed Leeds United head coach. It's an interesting appointment, uh, one that many wouldn't have expected. People like Karanka, people like Pardu were being uh, thrown around a lot more. But um, it has been confirmed this afternoon. He hasn't got too much experience in uh, managerial or management, which is uh, I think a big worry for most Leeds fans. Also the fact that he hasn't got any experience really in just English football. He has got a very he had a very successful career, played for teams like Barcelona, playing for Hanover, uh, a striker, so uh, who are very good at the attacking aspect of things. But the fact that he's never managed, I don't, he's never managed a particularly, you know, he's, he's managed in Cyprus, uh, and I know he's managing quite a big team, you know, uh, I was looking at, uh, they're about, about 20,000 fans a week, so he is used to this kind of high pressure uh, scenario. You can't help thinking that there were bigger names and probably uh, better suited managers for the job. It makes me a bit depressed that as a club like Leeds, we can't, you know, we can't attract, you know, managers like Parsi, like Kavanka. I'd like to know whether they were, um, in with a chance. And the reason it's taken so long is that they've turned down and we've turned them down. Uh, I'd, I'd love to know why people like that haven't been, uh, haven't been chosen. And I've seen a lot of Leeds fans who aren't too happy with it, you know, saying, who is he? You know, this isn't, you know, this isn't good. We needed somebody with experience. Um, and I do agree with that. I think I think we should have gone somebody who knows the league well. Didn't have to necessarily be English. I would have taken uh, Kranka. I would have taken. I wouldn't been too happy with Ranieri, but I would still have taken it. You know, I still think he's been good because he knows he's had a time in the English game. Uh, and you just you just can't help thinking that being linked to managers with such high profile. You know, like Ranieri's managed some of the biggest teams in the world. He's managed Leicester to a Premier League title, and yet. We get Thomas Christensen, who I'm not gonna lie, I didn't particularly know who he was until until we uh, appointed him. Will the players respect him? That's another talking point. I've seen a lot of people say, and I said one of the first points. Uh, someone on forum, I was uh, I asked people what they thought about it, and one of the first points they made was, will the players respect him? I think they could respect him as a player because he's got a very distinguished career. He's been a very very good. Uh, you know, he's playing at a very high level. Uh, he played for Spain internationally. But as a manager, I just couldn't see how, as a player, you'd be looking and going, well, yeah, this is the man to take us forward. He hasn't really got any links with any other teams. I don't imagine he's, you know, he's using you know, his past managerial experience to bring us anyone in. I, I just think it's a bizarre decision. I don't want to say it's the wrong decision, because he's going to turn out to be brilliant. But I just think there were probably better managers we could have got. But that's all from me. Make sure to put your opinion in the comment section below. Also, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.